Fibers of the periodontal ligament. Fibers of the periodontal ligament are called as principal fibers and are arranged in six groups. These form the bulk of the periodontal ligament and perform multiple functions like shock absorption, nutrition, sensory and formation. The periodontal ligament is part of the periodontal attachment apparatus and connects the tooth root to the alveolar bone. The periodontal ligament is a vascular and cellular connective tissue and it is continuous with the connective tissue of the gingiva and the marrow spaces of the alveolar bone. Periodontal ligament is about 0.2 mm in width and has an hourglass shape. It is wider in the coronal one-third and the apical one-third, however it is thinnest at the middle one-third. Width of PDL reduces around teeth that are not under function or are unerupted. Width increases around teeth which are under hyperfunction or under trauma from occlusion. Principal fibers of periodontal ligament are present between the cementum and the alveolar bone and they are collagenous, wavy and arranged in bundles. The terminal end of the principal fibers attached to the cementum and alveolar bone are called as Sharpie's fibers. The principal fibers of PDL are arranged in six groups. The growth occurs in sequence as the root develops. The six group are transeptal group, alveolar crest group, horizontal group of fibers, oblique group of fibers, apical fibers, and interradicular group of fibers. The transeptal fibers are also part of the gingival fibers. These extend from the cementum of one tooth to the cementum of the adjacent tooth. They are reconstructed even after destruction of the alveolar bone. Alveolar crest group of fibers. These extend from cementum immediately apical to the junctional epithelium to the alveolar crest. The function is to prevent extrusion and resist lateral tooth movement. Horizontal group of fibers extend from cementum to alveolar bone at right angles. The oblique group of fibers are the largest group of fibers of the periodontal ligament and they form the bulk of the PDL. They extend from the cementum towards the alveolar bone coronally in an oblique direction. The function is to bear the vertical masticatory forces and transfer them to the alveolar bone as tension. Apical group of fibers are present in the apical portion of the socket. They extend from the cementum of the root to the alveolar bone. Interradicular group of fibers are present around multi-rooted teeth. They fan out from the cementum to the bone in the furcation areas. Other fibers present in the periodontal ligament are oxitalin and alunin. Oxitalin fibers run parallel to the root surface in a vertical direction. They are attached to the cementum in a cervical third of the root and the function is to regulate vascular flow. There is an indifferent fiber plexus which are small collagen fibers present between the principal collagen fibers of the periodontal ligament. They run in all directions to form a plexus. Collagen fiber formation is important in the formation of periodontal ligament fibers. Collagen maintains the framework of and tone of the tissue. It is formed of multiple amino acids, mainly the proline, hydroxyproline, glycine and hydroxylysine. The collagen formation occurs within the periodontal ligament fibroblast. There is formation of tropocollagen, which aggregates together to form microfibrils. Multiple microfibrils are packed together to form fibrils. The fibrils come together to form collagen fibers and all the collagen fibers come together to form collagen fiber bundles. Type 1 collagen is predominantly present in periodontal ligament. It provides strength and flexibility to the tissues. So to summarize, the fibers of periodontal ligament are called principal fibers. They form bulk of the periodontal ligament. They are arranged in six groups, namely the transeptal, alveolar crest, horizontal, oblique, apical and interradicular group of fibers. Collagen fibers help in maintenance of the framework of and tone of the tissue and provide strength and flexibility to the tissues. You can find link to the MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. We hope you liked the video and if you did, Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and hit the notification bell for update on new videos.